Amazon recently opened a few new brick and mortar stores called Amazon Fresh. And I happen to have one very close to my house. So when I was out the other day running some errands, I thought, hey, let's stop by and see how this new Amazon Fresh with the interesting smart carts work. So once you enter the store, you grab a smart cart and everything you put into the cart is registered. So it just so happened that the first aisle I went down was the liquor aisle. And I was curious to see if it would know if I'm 21 or not. So I grabbed something that I thought, hmm, this is something I might buy for my tiki bar. And I put the Kraken rum into the cart. And sure enough, it lit up and gave me an alert that if I decided to purchase this item, I would be carted before I left the store. <laughs> so that was interesting. They told me that anything I removed from my cart would also be deleted from my item list and I would not be charged for it. So I decided to remove the Kraken rum and see if the smart cart would register. And it did. I was also told that Alexa was throughout the store and that if I got stuck, I could always ask for her. But I didn't really know where she was. Should I just call out her name and she would respond? Or would the cart talk to me? I never did figure that one out. So we went on looking for other things. In the back of the store, they have a whole customer service area and they have the lockers, Amazon lockers. And I'm not sure what else they do back there, but it was a pretty large space. So I'm thinking maybe you could pack things to go or retrieve your list of items that someone had shopped for you. But there's a nice staff waving at me. Very friendly staff. There were people all over the store in Amazon Fresh t-shirts. They have a pretty good selection. It's not a huge store, but it's a very decent selection of things that I might buy as I went to any grocery store. There's a fresh meat section, which I imagine once they pack up your meat, they would put the barcode on it so that your cart would be able to charge you for the very specific itemized selection. There is a pretty decent uh, deli as well as fresh produce and a little bit of bakery item. Again, it registers everything I get. It knows it, shows me a picture of it just to make sure that that's what I want. I was curious how the fresh produce would actually work. Was every single item barcoded or did I need to weigh it out? So I went over to check that out. Again, not a huge produce section, but not bad. And again, they had people everywhere. So if I got stuck, which I did, <laughs> I could ask for help. So you can see it's a pretty good sized store. So I decided to grab a lemon not a whole bag of lemons, but just a lemon, and see if it would register one lemon, because there was a barcode on the lemon. Now, I don't know if you can notice, but the lights register that something went into the cart but it doesn't know what it is. So it says, we didn't catch that. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna try to get the lemon detected. And it says, please re-enter the item with the barcode able to be read. But I just wasn't sure how to do that because there are several eyes on the smart cart, but none of them seemed to want to read the lemon. It kept telling me to rescan the lemon. It also told me that there was something else unusual in my cart. That's where I had laid my phone down <laughs> inside the cart and it's saying, hey, what's this? So it is pretty smart. It knows when there's something in there that shouldn't be. Well, I was able to scan some grapes 
and then went back to the lemon. I found one of the staff and she was able to tell me how to put the specific skew number in. Oh, there are the grapes. Okay, now we're gonna come to the, the lemon again. But it forgot about the gra- it forgot about the lemon and then it went on to the grapes and then it came back to the lemon. So I was able to finally get the lemon. And then I was so tired of that that I decided to make my way out. When you're finished shopping, there is a big green runway that you proceed out. And today they're helping because they know that we're all a bunch of new shoppers in the store. And so they sort of help you go through and make sure that what it's charging me for is in fact what I wanted and what is in my cart is accurate. And then that bill gets sent straight to my Amazon account and whatever credit card I'm using, PayPal or whatever, gets charged. And then you take your paper bags out of the cart, you leave the smart cart in the store, and you carry your paper bags. The only thing I was disappointed is that my bag broke. <laughs> what did you think of Amazon Fresh? It was kind of fun. I didn't mind the idea of putting each item into the cart. I did have some trouble with the lemon, of course. This one didn't get to go along, so now she's jealous. <laughs> um, would I go there all the time? I don't know, because I have a grocery store really close to my house that I actually can walk to. So it's super convenient to just walk across the street or even drive my car if I'm going to buy a lot of groceries. So this is kind of a fun concept. What I did notice when I was there is that they were doing a lot of shopping for other people. So the people in the Amazon shirts were running around filling orders for people who were shopping from behind their computer. And so there were a lot of people filling orders. And when I had trouble with the lemon, I was thinking, okay, do I ask someone? When I first walked in, they told me that Alexa was throughout the store and that I could ask her if I got stuck on something. But I couldn't figure out where she was whenever I had trouble with the lemon. <laughs> so uh, the people there are super friendly and very eager to help. And it was kind of fun. I didn't notice that the prices were any better. I didn't even think about using coupons or anything like that. So I think all in all, it's a fun concept. It's great for someone who really can't get out and maybe lives a few miles within that store and they don't want to use a different grocery store. They can look online to Amazon, pull up what they want, put it in their cart, and then someone will actually go and fetch it for them. So I think the concept is great. Personally, I don't know if I would use it all that often, but it was sure fun to check it out and see what else Amazon's doing because they're always doing something, aren't they? So let me know what you think. Would you go to an Amazon Fresh brick and mortar store if there was one near your home? Or would you just go online and place your order and have someone deliver it? So thanks for joining me on my little field trip. I hope you had a good time checking out the new Amazon Fresh. And if you haven't subscribed already, you might want to do so, so that you can join in. I do have a trip coming up and I plan on taking you along for the ride on that one. I also wanted to thank you for hanging in there as I learn a new software program. The past few videos have been uh, challenging as I have learned a basic software, something that I would have never dreamed would be so interesting and technically challenging, especially since 40 years ago I was a film major. <laughs> But there was nothing like this going on 40 years ago. So I've been learning and I also have a more advanced software program that I am in the process of learning. So hang in there. I'm still working on videotaping and editing and producing as far as YouTube goes. So I appreciate your patience. And hopefully in the next few weeks, I will have mastered the new software at least well enough to attempt 
editing um, an upcoming video. In the meantime, I'm going to keep on using what I'm using in order to get a video up once a week. So thanks for your patience and I will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.